Hello, welcome once again to another GTA 5 video. Right, guys, this time, as you can see, it's Franklin. This is like the main game. Uh, this is Franklin in the new. Uh, what's it called now? The what is it? Invertero Coquette Classic. And as you can also see, uh, it's the one with the roof. It's not the the topless classic. It's the uh, it's the roofed version. And the reason I'm gonna do, I, I, I want to show you this with. Uh, Franklin is because well this is the PlayStation 3 version the one I've completed they've got lots of money and oh what am I doing I was just gonna go to this Los Santos customs which is now good to me because whoops a daisy because things won't be free uh, if if you've completed the game and you've like, you freaking idiot. Uh, anyway, if you've completed the game and you've made lots of money with all three people, like Michael, Franklin and Trevor, there's a chance you will have bought properties. And I've just gone completely the wrong way that I wanted to. Never mind. Um... Yeah, so you would have bought lots of properties. One of the properties that Franklin can buy is a Los Santos Customs. The main problem with that is that Los Santos Customs just happens to be all the way up north. It's not like uh, that you can Actually, this is probably the better way to go because of where that lost cost, lost, the little lost cost of is. Uh, yeah, forgot how to speak there. Um, it's kind of uh, well. Let me just pause the game and show you if you don't already know. That is the Los Santos Customs that we are going to. That's why it's better if you go up this road. Oh, let's zoom in. Up this road, just just follow the road. And then take the right. Simple as that, really. I mean, you, you could probably cut over there and go that way, or... Actually, yeah, that's, a, that's going to be a bit quicker. And if I take the next right, right again. Yeah, okay. I'll do that instead. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's a bit of a a bit of a bother. Yeah, the fact that uh, you know you basically need to uh, to do it like this. Um, the fact is. I don't know, I don't know. What, what am I doing? Shit, I forgot which way I was going now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right, right, then left. Uh, yeah, that's one of the problems with this car. It's a bit, oh, hello. Uh, it's a bit of an arse to control. It's not the best of cars to... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bother really that you have to keep sort of coming all the way up here to sort of, like, you know, to customise the cars. But in the long run it's worth it because you do everything for free. So because Franklin owns the this garage, then you get everything for free so it might be a bit of a 
bit of a pain to keep coming up here, but here we go. Repair vehicle, free. Yeah. Armor, ding, 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 ding. See, all free. So, maybe it's not so bad, really, but, uh, you know, it's a bit, a bit of a bother. Right, so here we go. We've got a custom splitter. Secondary bumper colour, that's... We haven't really got a secondary colour on the car, so... Uh, primary colour bumper... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make a slightest bit of difference. Because the, the front bumper bit, as you can probably see, is that... is like that bit that's just under the lights there. Uh, if we delete that, it just takes it away, obviously. Uh, and you can have uh, the second colour bumper and splitter. Primary colour bumper and splitter. It's all... I've, I've got to be honest, it's all a bit bad. Now you've got uh, secondary colour rear bumper. Right. Primary colour rear bumper, that means it's the same colour as the rest of the car. Uh, just delete it. And that's it. But you, I've got to be honest, you, you, you do want the secondary colour, because you shall see in a moment. Um, I think I will have that, the second colour bumper and splitter. Right. Engine, well obviously we want the full uh, thing there. No, chrome tip exhaust. A race exhaust. Titanium. Oh, oh yeah. When I, I don't know if you know, I am Wildcat, uh, a YouTuber. Uh, he did the same thing, and he had the thing put on the side, and it looks a bit silly because then you got these two notches in the back there, which it sort of spoils it because it's like, well, where does that? What does that do now? You know. But we'll go for that with the titanium. Uh, hood, well, carbon, non-carbon. I mean, come on, really, that's that's a bit crap. Horn, don't bother with the horn. Uh, always have the Z on lights. I don't know why. I just, uh, I just, I just do right. Uh, private plate, obviously, and hmm, yeah. You gotta have the yellow one black. Although I would have preferred. Uh, this one. Obviously, you need to have the roll cage. That's a necessity with pretty much all cars. You know, any car that's got that option. Uh, turbo, of course. Now wheels. Uh, oh, this is a trouble with for some reason. You go there, and you get the light. Just that slight little bump and boom, it's gone. Ah. Anyway, so we go for wheel type. As you can see, it's sport, so let us see which sport wheels are better. Uh, let's go from bottom there. Uh, I think we want something that's kind of not too bulky, but like is classic. I mean, such as that, the Dash VIP, that, that looks nice. Because... It's that kind of car where you kind of want the spoked wheels, but, you know, to keep it looking classic. So I think uh, I think I'll actually go for that one. The dash VIP. Um, the wheel colour. Uh, I, I always just go for the anthracite black. Regardless of what colour I'm actually do the car. Obviously we want custom tyres. Obviously we want bulletproof tyres. And we want the red tyre smoke. Okay. Uh, windows, well... I mean, do we really want pure black? Or just... Yeah, dark smoke, I think. That, it's nice to have the option to have the pure black, but yeah, you don't really want that all the time. 
Now, primary colour, I always go with... This, if this was online, I mean, I am sort of doing this as if I was online, I always go garnet red. That is always my colour. So, <laughs> garnet red. Uh, sometimes I will put, uh, and because I've put a metallic paint on, I sometimes go with um, a, a, a silver pearlescent switch. Okay, I'll, I will this time, I think. Now for the secondary colour, you'll see, see at the front, well, obviously you can see that there's the bonnet, or the hood, as you call it. Uh, the front bumper, which is obviously the bit just above the grill there, and the splitter at the bottom, which I think they call it a splitter because if it ran over you, it would split your ankles from your feet, you know what I mean? Um, so we go metallic again, and this time, I mean, I don't normally go an anthracite black for the car, I would go with a graphite or a carbon black. And that does look rather... Well, that's smart, doesn't it? I must say. It's a bit similar. Now, <laughs> yeah, I have seen um, uh, Day. Uh, what does he call How is it? Day de Nogler. Or I'll just say Nogler's video. Well, no, actually, it was I Am Wildcat's live stream video, but it was Day who had a similar car to this. He did it red and black like this. Um. So, I mean, I'm not copying him at all. These are, these are, well, if you look at my logo, these are my colours. I'll go with red, black, and a silver. It, it's got nothing to do with copying anybody. These were colours that, that I personally like. My favourite colour is red. The reason I picked garnet red is because it's my birthstone, garnet. And I'll go with a kind of black. Not just black. I mean, if I wanted to go with just black, I would go with that. But I don't. There's, you can't really see any difference between uh, between those, really, until you get to graphite, which is a bit lighter. But carbon black and black—they're pretty much the same. You know what I mean? Uh, right. So that's that. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's my car, bitch. Uh, well, there's nothing else I can do, really. So that, that's it. That, that is the. Uh, oh, it would be night time, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, that that's the car fully modded to the max, as you just saw. Um. It's pretty quick, it's not the fastest. Uh, as you may have seen from uh, like the, the stats is always like up uh, uploading, upgrading it. It wasn't exactly, uh, oh crap. <laughs> it wasn't exactly the best of uh, speeds and the acceleration was meh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I have got to say that sometimes when Rockstar bring out these new uh, cars, or, or just new vehicles, they're sometimes not that brilliant. And like this one, this uh, Cockett Classic, it's uh, not that good. I would have preferred if they had just brought, well, just brought out, if they had uh, simply just bothered with uh, the cockhead car that's in the main GTA game. Um, now, hold on a minute, if I remember, the, the other the other car that I had before, when I was doing the uh, the DLC update video, it was a 
the topless one. So yeah, this one's the uh, the hard top version. And so yeah, that's it. That's uh, if I was doing this online, those would be my colours. That would be pretty much how I would uh, do it. I'm not that high level on online. I think I'm think I'm level 31 on the PS3 version. And I'm, I'm level 28 on the Xbox 360. So I haven't unlocked that much. But uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, basically, thank you for watching and uh, join me next time in more GTA 5 vids. Thank you. Bye-bye. A quick bonus clip here. This is going to be a mod... See, I can't even speak when I'm using the bloody mic. But, but this is, I'm using a snowball mic this time. Before I was using my, uh, my headset. My uh, PX21 headset. This time I decided to use the snowball mic and I still can't talk properly. Start all over again. Hi, welcome to a bonus clip where I will be fully modificating the topless coquette classic car. Starting with 100% armor as usual. We shall be using race brakes. Bumpers, it's pretty much going to be the same. I'm going to do the same as uh, as I did with the other car. Uh, secondary colour. Uh, that's it. Secondary rear bumper. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, engine upgrade. Now, this is the thing. All it seems to improve is it gives you the full acceleration. This is what I was saying. What I never noticed before is you get the car's details at the bottom there, the top speed acceleration, braking and traction. You can see what kind of things get improved uh, with uh, the different modifications, obviously. Oh, it's just the carbon uh, loads. Uh, as you can tell, or maybe you can tell, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Is that... Really? Oh, wait. Looks like you can get a bit of a roll cage with that as well. It basically replaces those two things. <laughs> Metal frame things at the back there, and just replaces it with a, with that. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there. Um. I mean, the wheel type sport. Shall we? Well, let's see. Uh, I think I just saw the one that I want, actually. Because I used the dash VIP before. Uh, I think I'm going to go for. Hmm. that one um, yeah I completely forgot what I was going to say now um, hardcore to the core so after all that all we need to do now is respray primary color usual metallic and Garnet red, if you remember me saying before, and the secondary colour also metallic. Oh, wait a minute, primary colour. Oh, there we go, of course, I can. Pearlescent, a silver pearlescence, uh, secondary colour metals. So, some, I, I did think of going with gold as uh, a colour, and I thought, nah, nah. 
that's kind of bit too. Uh, uh, what, what color did I go? Uh, graphite. That's what. No, carbon black. That's what I go for. Uh, and I thought gold. Nah, that, that's a bit too uh, pretentious or whatever. I guess what I could could maybe do instead of uh, oh. A miracle on earth. Right, if we go to the wheel colour, um, ah, so it, it pretty much colours all of it, not just uh, a little bit, but all of it. So, what I would normally do, like I said, is go for hmm. Well, I would kind of go for a silver, but. Considering that's stone silver, it's not exactly the best. So frost white is probably closer to the kind of silver that I would have. Well, that's uh, so. And there we go. There's the modded topless version. Uh. It's kind of okay. It's uh, it, it doesn't really mod that much. Uh, I mean, you got the the roll cage. Probably wouldn't stop Franklin from from smashing the top of his head in, uh, which a roll cage is kind of supposed to prevent. Um, so yeah. It, not much really in the way of modifications. Um, the only difference you get from upgrading the engine and the tuner and whatever is just faster acceleration. To me, the car isn't really that much faster. Well, you, you don't, I'll tell you what, you don't get the same sense of speed as you do with uh, the coil or even um, what's the other one the electric car the cheval you know which one I mean the cheval, che cheval surge car I'll tell you what that, that might be a pretty basic car but it can shift you know what I mean it's pretty swift so but yeah um, as for modifications, it's not really that special. I mean, really, the only added thing is that bit at the front there, the splitter. You, know, you get the option of a carbon hood, which is kind of the same as plenty of other cars. Um, you get the exhaust either there, or you can have it stuck on the side. Again, the same with other cars so really for the price I mean these cars cost 665,000 for the hardtop and $695,000 for this one the topless classic and I've got to be honest it's not worth it if you're gonna buy a car that's going to look really cool once it's fully modded. I'd get the Zentorno, to be honest with you. It's, uh, to me, that would be the better option. But that's just a personal taste, a personal opinion. You don't have to agree. Uh, but thanks for watching this little bonus bit where I've uh, modded the top version as, as well. You, when you're in the main story, you don't really get a choice of hard top or topless it just gives you either one uh, because it gave me the hard top before I thought I'll go back to the garage I'll pick a, another car and it gave me the topless version so there you go um, so sorry to have waffled on as, you, as I usually do all that's left to say is thank you for watching uh, please like subscribe and 
share my videos uh, if you know please get me a bit more widespread and i'll see you next time bye bye